Now Stuart is smiling, so let's uh, put a little eyelid on the bottom of his eye. It'll, it'll actually make him look a little happier, a little jovial. Give him a little more character. So let's uh, select the goggles, and the eye is part of that, so let's ungroup that. Okay, and then we're just going to select the eye and ungroup that. And we're going to select just this white piece. And let's change, let's duplicate it, edit, duplicate. And I'm going to move it out. First, I'm going to change it to half and then I'm going to move it out a millimeter using the arrow key there we go okay so that's a little too high so what we can do can cut that with a uh, another hole tool. So what we'll do is um, we'll move this out, but we want to keep it on this axis so it's perfectly aligned. So I'm using the arrow key to slide it out. Okay. And let's turn it color to yellow and then let's go up here and click on our work plane icon and we're going to drag our work plane right here okay then we're going to go to our holes and I'm going to drag a whole box or box hole okay and let's just drag you know squash this down just move it in so we don't have a lot of excess box make it clean okay my F key to frame it and then we'll just move this down And right about there should work. And uh, let's just tighten this box up. We don't need all that space. So. Okay. Now we shift select the eyelid and group it. All right. Now let's use our arrow key to move it back. And let's take a look. Even try moving it down just a just a hair. No, that's too much. Let's move our work plane back. We can get a cleaner view. It just needs to be a little a little lower. It's very close. So it's just slide this out again and then ungroup it see how convenient that is and then let's move it down like so and let's group it again group and let's move it back There we go. That works. And then just to make it a little more interesting, let's just move his eye, uh, his uh, pupil and iris. Let's just move it a little bit. So let's change our grid number to 0.25. Let's just move it up. Oops. Got to 
do that from here. Kind of like he's looking up. Maybe uh, move it a little to the right. Like he's looking up and to the right. Yeah, that makes him just seem a little more alive. Okay. Great. And we have his eyelid in place. In the next video, we're going to create a new arm. And uh, we're going to try to pose it in a position that makes it a little more interesting, shows a little more character. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe.